Hi all, welcome back, or welcome if it's your first visit. I'm Age and this is Liquid Earth. The Osmo Mobile 3 has seven different video shooting modes and they're all stabilised in a slightly different way. If you're curious about what they are and how to use them, then take a look. I'll walk you through all seven video modes, how to access them, and I'll demonstrate each one for you. So here we are with the Osmo Mobile 3. It's a brilliant gimbal in my opinion. It's not perfect, but it does come pretty close. So I'm in the Mimo app, and the first thing I'm gonna do is go into the camera mode, and then we're gonna go into the settings. And that's the three little dots in the very bottom left-hand corner. Then press the gimbal mode, which is the second icon up on the left. And at the top, you'll probably notice it says follow. There's four main video modes there. You've got follow, tilt locked, FPV, and spin lock. So we're gonna keep it in follow, but what I would suggest you do first of all is go and set up a quick menu and assign it to the M button. To do that, if you scroll down where it says press M button, if you click that, instead of photo video, if you change that to quick menu, then when you press the M button, you've got a quick menu that pops up. And that quick menu on the left-hand side gives you all your shooting options like photo, video, slow-mo, panoramic. And if you use the joystick and toggle over to the right-hand side, you've got those four video modes. So they're the four main ones. We're gonna go through seven today. So we're also gonna go through active tracking where it tracks a subject. We're also gonna go through the lock mode and the sport mode. But let's start in the follow mode. So press the M button to confirm. And now we're in the follow mode. Now this is an everyday mode and the follow mode allows you to tilt up and down you can pan left and right and notice how slowly it pans and when you stop it takes its time to come to a very slow stop giving you really smooth footage now we're going to press the m button and this time we're going to choose the next mode down which is our tilt locked mode press m to confirm so in tilt locked mode now the tilt axis is locked so if you look at the horizon that's completely locked and it remains pretty steady when we move the camera up and down. I can still move left and I can still move right, but I can't move on the tilt axis. So this is great if you're following a subject or if you're in front of the subject and walking backwards, or if you wanna come from a low position to a high position or vice versa, come from up high and down low. Let's show you a few little options. So that's nice, it just keeps the tilt axis locked. So let's go back into our M mode, and this time we're gonna go into, whoops, we wanna keep, keep the video, and this time we're gonna go into the FPV mode. Press M to confirm again. So the FPV mode opens up all of the axis, all three. So now we can tilt up and down, we can pan left and right, but we can also roll left and right. So like an aeroplane, some people call that the aeroplane mode, you can roll left and right. So ideal for special effects. If you're gonna add some snazzy transitions to your footage, it's perfect for that. I don't use it all of the time, but now and again, it does make a bit of difference to your footage. And I think the secret for all of the modes is to keep it nice and smooth. Let's go back into the M menu, and this time we're gonna choose spin shot so in the spin shot mode with this gimbal we can't just point the camera and be in what they call torch mode it doesn't work to go down low with this camera or to spin it you have to turn it to the side so 180 degrees isn't so difficult you can turn it it will go 180 degrees you can turn it back and it will spin back it's when you want to do the 360 degree turn that i find really awkward so you turn it 360 degrees. It's so difficult to try and keep your subject in the center. But give it a go. With a bit of practice, I'm sure you'll get used to it. I don't use it that often. Um, I just find it a little bit tricky. But that's the spin shot mode and it's an option that you have. 
So what next? So let's go back into the M and if we choose the follow mode, the next mode that we have is to lock the gimbal. I'm in follow mode, so I can turn left and right. I can tilt up and down. But if I press and hold the trigger, now I've locked the gimbal. So all of the axes are locked and it keeps it pretty rock steady. So that's ideal if you're following people and you want to keep the camera rock steady and you don't want to drift away from the horizon line, for instance. Then the next mode you have is sport mode. This time we're going to press the trigger twice, but on the second time we're going to keep it pressed. So once, twice, keep it pressed. It will show you that the sport mode is now active. And with sport mode, it just allows you to turn the gimbal really fast. So it's ideal for sports, but actually any moving subject. So kids running, dogs playing, fast cars, that sort of thing. It's ideal because you can follow your subject much easier. Notice though, at the very end, it still slowly moves to a stop. So it keeps the footage quite nice and smooth still. So that's the sport mode. And then the final mode in this is the active track mode. So this is ideal if you want to track yourself or a subject, a person, or even an object. To follow a subject, you literally draw around them. Now I'm moving the gimbal, but it's actively keeping hold of that tree down the bottom there. Okay, now I've turned the camera around. I'm looking at myself and I want to track myself. So again, I can draw a box around me and now I can move. And as you can see, it's very good at keeping track of me. This is perfect if you're on a tripod, by the way, just to keep track of yourself. And I've got the iPhone 11 here, so the front camera is just as good really as the back camera. It's still 12 megapixels in landscape mode. So it's pretty cool. Next up, let's take a look at gesture control. Hit the hand symbol again. Make sure that you've got gesture control switched to on. And if it is, all you've got to do now is stick your hand up like this. You'll see the countdown timer and it will start recording. Perfect. And of course, it's following me. Whilst in follow mode, you can still move to the left or the right so that you can position your subject exactly where you want in the frame. You can even go up a little bit or down a little bit. You don't necessarily want the person right in the middle of the frame, better off to the left or the right. I find that absolutely perfect just using the joystick control. To stop, you can't use a gesture control, unfortunately on this gimbal, so you have to press the stop button. But there you go, guys. They were the seven shooting modes with the Osmo Mobile 3. I hope that was useful for you. If it was, give me the thumbs up, subscribe, and press the bell icon to be notified. I'm posting these every single week. There's some options on screen for some other videos that you may find useful. Thanks again, guys. Hope to see you next time. Take care.